Hello and welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. I am Dad. Hey. Morris. Uh, I'm Charlie. <laughs> he was paying it. Folks at home, you can't see this. He's staring at just like a level. Just like leveling just his hand. Alright, well, off to a bang up start here. Hey Charlie, what are we drawing today on Drawing with the Blakeleys? We are drawing a... Yeah, uh, guy with a big pair of scissors. The barber from Little Nightmares. This is a. Uh, no, I think this was from the game, but he was not actually used. I think his scenes were cut, or maybe never like his, fully like done. Him. Yes, an unused character. Thank you to those folks that you see on your screen uh, who suggested it. Charlie, are you ready to get going on this creepy drawing? You know, I thought maybe we should do a creepy one just for a change of pace. I got a butter knife taped it to the end of my Nerf gun and now I've got a bayonet. Speaking of creepy, alright. So, let's start with these eyes of his. And, I else came down here while we were looking. Well, I had this a reference image up on the computer and he said, Dad, who is that weird lady? And I Oof. said, well, actually, bud, it's not a lady. It's a dude with a funny haircut. So there you go. I mean, it does look like a lady. So there's those eyes, and they're kind of, you know, bulgy. Um, they're kind of, yeah. I'm trying to think there's some kind of disorder. Bulg. Graves disease or something like that that makes your eyes feel bulgy like that? Bulgy. Awesome. This guy is not as horrific as a lot of the people from Little Nightmares. Maybe that's why he wasn't ultimately chosen. I mean, like, he's got a big pair of scissors. Well, that's just it. Now, there is an old fairy tale guy. I can't remember what his name is called. Mr. It's like a, uh, there's a guy from, it was a kid called Tom Suckathum or something. If I'm remembering my old uh, things correctly. I mean, obviously way before my time. Boomer. But um, he was a kid who wouldn't stop sucking his thumb. And so uh, this horrifying grown up comes along and, and chops it off with a pair of scissors. Just like this guy. I think this guy is actually uh, maybe modeled on. Nah, no on way. That guy. Not okay. this time. So I'm gonna do his forehead. We'll start here with this kind of part. Down into his big curl here. Alright, there's that part of his head. Let's do the hair on this side now. It's running a little dry. If death grown up, evil must be. It's got kind of bulgy face here. It's bulgy. It is indeed kind of bulgy. It's not quite as bad as like your wax bellmans or your guys like that, but it definitely is not what we would call a pretty face. It's very pretty. Mm. Apparently Charlie uh, no. likes this No! Guy. no. Alright. He's got a lot of kind of Sorry, I'm just kind of concentrated on drawing him less than I am on talking about Actually about talking about how to draw him. Yeah. He's got kind of weird, lumpy, wrinkly face. Alright, and now let's... 
let's start from here. We can draw one of his arms. So let's start with the sleeve here. And let's go the other one here since this is just kind of the next thing going down. And yeah, we might as well kind of make start going down with some of these arms. Just to kind of give it a sense of where we're going here. So those are kind of, that's sort of where the arms are going. And then I'm actually going to shift here and do some of these details. This is Barbara's apron. And then we can't quite see, there's not quite enough here to see any of that coming out, but um, let's do just some details in here. We got that, so we'll kind of go maybe do a little knot here on the back of his apron. Charlie, I'm looking at yours. I like yours. It's a thick one. Okay, and let's do the front kind of details. It's like a really sort of wrinkly, foldy apron. And do this one. It's kind of as because of his posture. It's kind of sort of going in between his knees there. So we'll just do kind of. His leg that's in the foreground there. And it's he's wearing kind of I guess what do you call this? Knickerbocker uh knee high. I don't I don't know exactly what you call it. Thingies. Short pants. They're going into kind of flat loafery type shoes. Like that. Just get a little sole detail there. And some of the kind of folds here. Kind of give an indication of what the body looks like underneath there. Okay. Rear uh, or further leg. Come down. That sort of frilly bottom to his short pants. I'm definitely, I'm sorry if anyone out there is like a person who's... Who's like, what the... <laughs> Well, I'm just going to say if anyone was a person who knows a lot about uh, the sort of fashions of the bygone era, you might of say. The one th of the 9,000 ADs. All right. Now, I kind of saved... Oh, I can finish that off. I kind of saved um, what I think is going to be one of the more interesting parts for last, and that's the giant scissors. So we'll come in here, do some sort of finger details. Finger buckles. Okay, we'll do the hand. He's holding nope. a giant pair of scissors. And there's kind of one of the parts of the handle. One of the handles of the scissors. Before I go any further, I do want to come back here though and do. This part of the scissor. This handle. And because the way that scissors work, that's actually going to be the one that's slightly behind. With the little uh, part there that's the hinge. And then we're going to take it all the way down. Make them super long and nasty looking. And then the other blade. that. It's 
just want to give him a few more kind of wrinkles and things up around his eye. Because he's got a lot of weird stuff going on there. Some folds, some wrinkles, some kind of creases. Okay, Charlie, I know I've said this to you before, but I love Sugar Parts. I love all the character that you put into your drawings. All the boys. You have some really expressive lines, especially around his face. I'm gonna have to get some new expressive lines. Just a few lines. little lines in here. said it before Charlie I'll say it again I could spend all day just doing this part that we're doing right now but I won't because I mean we still need to continue on to the coloring I'm nice we're gonna have to obey it miles oh wait wasn't supposed to say that uh, ha, 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 ha. just a joke ha 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 huh. definitely not something that would be illegal let's draw it let's color it see was the 20 minutes that we just spent looking for a marker that Charlie lost. The wheat marker, which I found, but it was not the right wheat marker. It was the oh. other wheat marker. No, it was not wheat. It, it was, was it was peony, which is what we uh, use. Yeah, used for a skin tone on this guy. <laughs> All right, well, Charlie is cocking his Nerf gun. I'm just gonna finish up a few touches here. And. Nice. So, Charles, yes. as I know that you are aware, our 300th uh, yes. video is coming up soon, and we need to decide what to draw. And I was hoping that these guys at home would help us. We gotta get something super epic in here, so make sure to come with the best drawing you can possibly think of for us to do. Mm -hmm. What seems appropriate for a 300th drawing with the Blakely's video? So, on something that... Epic. Yeah. Not from that... Epic Games. We're not doing anything Fortnite ever. What? We've already done multiple Fortnite things. No! No, we haven't done uh, anything Fortnite related. Fortnite related, uh, mainly just because no one's requested any for we, we over a year. We could do Minecraft Steve for the 300th episode. We could do Minecraft Steve. Uh, we could. Did Minecraft release their cave update like recently? We can get Minecraft Steve up in here. My only I issue with that would just be that now. Minecraft stuff can be hard to draw because it's so square. It's. It's like so squared off. Anyway, there you have it, friends. On your screen, you see our logo. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Um, oh, and subscribing is the best way that you can subscribe, uh, that you can support this channel right now. Hit that so subscribe button. Money. Smash the thumbs up button. And don't forget to leave your suggestions down below in the comments. Until next time, friends. See you later. Okay, bye -bye.